Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be a kit from Hunt and Seek Creative, and I will be in my illustrating Bible. This is just the Psalms and the Proverbs. Such a pretty Bible. I love working in this. I would definitely get this again if I ever used all of the Psalms that are in here. It's easy to manage and hold, and it's not as thick as the full illustrating Bible, which is a monster. That's something you just keep on your desk and work in and you see me do videos in those. So I will be working in Psalms 119 verse 174 and also Psalm 112 verse 1. I decided this time to use the kit and use all of the scriptures that are on the kit. This kit, which I love, only has two scriptures so I figured I'll just go ahead and use the scriptures that came with the kit meditate on it allow it to minister to me and do it I did the art back in May but I'm just now getting to the spiritual aspect of it in terms of the word and what it means and how to apply it in my life and just being grateful for the Word of God so Thank you for watching, and remember, if I can Bible journal, so can you. I'm going to lay down some background to make the page pop a little bit, and these oranges are delicious, and you catch the pun, orange delight, orange you in delight, delight of what? His word. Take care. Psalm 119, verse 174. O oh Lord, I have longed for your rescue, and your instructions are my delight. I am not sure what translation that is. So I can't tell you. And I think this Bible is an NIV. Yes, it is. The NIV reads, I long for your salvation, Lord, and your law gives me delight. Isn't that awesome? And I love that this kit just shows such vibrancy and such delight and deliciousness for the word of God. We have to have an appetite for the word of God. We do not have any other means of instructions from the Lord. He has given it to us in his word and he wants us to delight in his word, to be excited for his word, to long for his word. Albert Barnes says, in here the longed means it denotes an earnest desire or wish. That's it. His law is my delight. His law is the object of my delight. It is what gives me happiness and joy. And in this Psalm, I long for your salvation. It's not just a salvation from or a saving from trouble. We tend to focus just on deliverance and troubles from situations and circumstances. And that's only a small part of it, just a small part of it but we still battle with this sin issue. So all things that pertain to sin and ungodliness, Lord, I need to be saved from it. And the only way that a man can be cleansed from his sins is through Jesus Christ and through obedience to his word. His word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against him. And so I am going to delight in his word. I am going to make his word the object of my affection and whom I long for. And then in Psalm 112, it reads, Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. There it is again. We are blessed. We are happy. We are fortunate. We are jovial. We have everything bestowed upon us. We are blessed. Because we fear the Lord, we have respect for him, and to have respect for the Lord is to have respect for his word, for his son. They're all one. They're not distinct one from another. Mr. Joseph Benson states it so powerfully. He says, it's he who makes it his chief care, his business, and delight to meditate on, understand, and obey God's command. Many people, and sadly some Christians, see God only as a rule maker, but that is not who he is to those who delight and love and embrace the word of God. We see them as instructions for life and godliness. And when we delight in his word, he delights in us. So get in his word, get rooted, get grounded, get teaching, get doctrine. 
then we will be as Paul said in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14 which is one of my favorite scriptures and chapters that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. Ironically, the longest psalm in the Bible or in the book of Psalms is 119 and the whole psalm has to deal with or do with delighting in the word of God, obeying the word of God, finding comfort in the word of God, what the word of God means to the writer of that psalm and it's one of the greatest psalms ever written and I love it so delight in it. This is Hunt and Seek Creative. Use code SHERRY25 on two kits or more. I hope you were inspired to stay in his word.